What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today is the chop. The very first episode, I'm going to show you how to chop samples. Now, in this first episode, I'm going to be very basic, very simple. I'm going to show you how to chop a loop if you do not know how to chop a loop. So I have four random songs and I'm just going to go through unedited, uncut, and show you everything I do in order to get my samples chopped. I'm not going to use any external software. I'm not going to make any beats. I'm simply going to chop the sample so that you know how to chop the sample. So let's go ahead and start from the bottom. Why not? And let's get, let's get into it. So I'm double clicking on this file to get into slice edit mode. If for some reason you get a different mode, you'll come up here where these three squares are and click on the one to the left, slice edit, and you'll see your slices. Now what you want to do is count the bars as they're going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four, four. Four. All right, so it looks like this will be the, the new downbeat. So this is an easy way to chop a loop from the beginning. You don't always have to chop a loop from the beginning. You can chop from any part of the song that you feel is usable for a beat. Most times you want to chop a part that is free of drums, but nowadays there are tons of techniques that enable you to remove drums from a sample with ease. <laughs> I'm gonna loop around this, make sure loop mode is on, and make sure it sounds pretty good looping and doesn't sound off. So it sounds like we may be missing a beat. If we start here and listen to the transition to the beginning, it sounds a little weird. So we definitely cut something off that we shouldn't have. So in order to fix that, I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit and let's listen to the end so i think this is our downbeat here and i'm just gonna hold down you can press i to change the tool or if you have your mouse selected you can hold down command on a mac and control on the windows so let's see where the downbeat for the next bar starts Starts about here, I believe. Yeah, so we need to cut here. We cut too early last time. So I just right clicked and I hit split at slices. Um, and split at slice, sorry. So let's listen to this again. All right, so now we have our perfect loop. We can go on and listen to the B and cut other parts if we want to. I am actually going to move on to the next sample. So let's see what this one is like. All right, so I'm actually going to take the first two bars. Uh, you can take whatever parts you want. Just remember that. But this is just simply a demonstration. So I'm going to chop where the downbeat is. Four, one, two, three, four. All right, cool. And I believe this is the downbeat split at slices. There's a mosquito. I think I got it. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it or not. Well, whatever. All right, and um, I'll select this. Set loop to selection and start playback. See how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 
So it looks like we may need to get a little bit more at the end. And how you know it, what you're missing is basically how the, the loop ends or how it starts. This one, for example, we know we're starting at the beginning, so there's really nothing we can add unless it doesn't start on the downbeat. And what I mean by downbeat is uh, the count that you're counting. So one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One. So right here, in between here, we need to slice. And there is no slice, so it looks like we might have to make our own. Yeah, so we're gonna have to make our own slice here. So in this case, if the slice, the automatic slice doesn't detect what we need, it's not a problem. We just do it ourselves. I have my pin tool. I'm gonna turn snap off or else it will go somewhere other than where I clicked. And then I'm gonna draw my slice just by clicking. And we're gonna play this and see if it's in the right spot. Sounds like we need to move over a little bit. Not a problem. If we want to move it, we have to remember that moving it like this will stretch it. So if we want to move it, we have to hold down Alt or Option in order to change it without stretching it. And this is a good spot here. So I'm going to split this. And there's my cat being obnoxious. All right, going to set loop to selection and start playback. There we go. And if we get any pops, we just want to make sure to fade in and out very slightly. Let's turn snap off. at the beginning also. Not too much. And then we could put a compressor on it to get the volume right and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next song. Right, so we can easily grab those that first bar there but let's uh, look for something a little more difficult let's go ahead and grab this this area here once again we want to count our bars so I'm going to start basically what you would be doing is listening to the song from beginning to end Figuring out what parts you think are the coolest or what you want to use in your beat and you would chop those parts out by bar or loop So like I said in this tutorial, I'm just showing you loops You can do whatever else you want if you know how to do that. If you don't then don't worry um, You can skip ahead if you want to but I'm not gonna talk about any other methods I'm gonna talk about them in order uh, the best order. I think it is to teach you. So let's continue split here at the first downbeat and then we start counting so one two three four two two three four one so about here I think is the end of that bar which is perfect you can cut as much or as little as you want to cut you can cut a one bar loop you can cut a two bar loop three, four, eight, you can cut multiple loops in different spots. The sky's the limit. You can do it ever you want. So let's set loop to selection and start playback. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three. So this one's pretty good. Now let's say, for example, my tempo is 150. If I wanted to stretch it to fit my the tempo of my beat, I simply hold down option or alt and I would, let's make sure snap is on and we'll stretch it to the length of two bars. 
in my tempo of 150. So now I can easily start my production. This is with my metronome on. All right, simple as that. Once you chop your selection, you can stretch it to fit your tempo. Now let's go through this last one. Alrighty, so we're listening. Let's go ahead and cut this out. All right, give me a second. And let's um, start here. And let's loop this. This is just me going off of intuition. So we can use that. We can loop another section if we want to. We can loop as many sections as we want. So we can loop as many sections as we want. We can cut loops of, out of anywhere. Loops are easy. So this episode was about loops. If you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.